In this video, I'll show you how to animate your trucks on the construction site. So in this um, example, we'll be animating our mixer, just that one over here, and on a concrete pump as well. So the first thing is that we got to go to our animator and add our scenes. So to do that, you right click and you go to add scene and let's name that as track animation. And once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to select the trucks. So let's go to our selection tree and click on truck mixer and then go to your animator like right click on your um, truck animation scene and add the animation set from current search or selection set. And let's name that as mixer. Okay, so now again, the first thing is that we need to capture our time frame. So click on capture key and you'll see that up here and then let's go at eight seconds now before we capture it we need to move the truck so let's say we move it up until here so to do that you go on that translate animation set and then using the gizmo shift it back to maybe this point once you're happy with the positioning, capture the key. So if we go back and we play our animation, notice how the truck is now moving between these two points. Okay, so we want to do the same for the for the concrete pump. And to do that, you go to the pump and then. Um, you right click and you add the animation from current search and then you capture the key and again at 8 seconds translate that and again using the gizmo shift it back maybe to here and then once you're happy with the positioning, capture the key. And let's test both of these out now. So it looks fine. Um, if we want these to return back to their original places, uh, you tick on the loop, uh, on the loop checkbox. So, um, if we play the animation now, notice how it goes. So they're approaching each other, and then you pour your concrete, and then they return back. Um, no, it hasn't. So what I've got to do is I've got to... Let's try it out now. So you gotta have all of these checked in order for that to happen. Okay. So go back to your timeline now. And in the next uh, video, I'll show you how to attach these uh, to your timeline.